They look simple, disposable, even fragile. But the story behind how billions of condoms are made inside the world's largest factories is one of industrial ambition, microscopic precision, and stakes higher than you might think. These delicate latex barriers stop disease, steer global population trends, and determine the fate of countless lives every single day. Yet just one invisible flaw can unleash outbreaks and trigger global recalls, like the millions pulled from shelves after a single test failed. So how do the world's biggest factories turn liquid latex, tapped drop by drop from remote trees, into life-saving protection at breathtaking scale? The answer reveals a hidden world of chemistry, competition, and cutting-edge innovation. Rubber trees, known scientifically as Hevia brasiliensis, stand in regimented rows across the humid landscapes of Malaysia and Thailand. Here, before sunrise, smallholder farmers make the first incision, cutting a shallow groove in the bark so latex can flow drop by drop into waiting cups. This milky liquid is the foundation of the world's condom supply, and its journey begins with a race against time. Fresh latex spoils quickly, so collectors immediately mix in ammonia, halting coagulation and preserving quality for the trip ahead. Stainless steel tanker trucks roll out from rural collection points, carrying thousands of liters to regional processing plants. Inside these facilities, Latex is spun in high-speed centrifuges, separating out impurities and concentrating the rubber content to about 60%. Every batch is tested for protein levels and viscosity, because even the smallest variation could compromise the strength and flexibility required for protection. Modern plantations favor clonal trees, like RRIM 600 or PB235 bred for high yield and disease resistance. Smallholders, often working less than two hectares, have adapted, joining cooperatives and investing in better tools to meet the demands of mega factories. Malaysia, long the global leader in latex production, supplies giants like Corex Burhad, whose factories alone produce over 5 billion condoms each year. But natural rubber isn't the only ingredient in play. For those allergic to latex, scientists have pioneered synthetic alternatives. Polyisoprene, a lab-made polymer with the stretch and feel of natural rubber, and polyurethane, a strong hypoallergenic plastic, now make up a growing share of the market. These materials arrive by rail or ship, bypassing the plantations entirely, but must still meet strict standards before entering the production line. Whether harvested from living trees or synthesized in chemical plants, every drop of latex and every pellet of polymer is tracked, tested, and certified before it can become a condom. The raw materials, once gathered and refined, are finally ready for their transformation inside the world's largest factories. Ceramic formers, shaped to precise dimensions, glide along overhead conveyors into automated cleaning stations. Here, high-pressure jets and detergents strip away any residue, ensuring that nothing interferes with the film that will form the barrier. Once sterilized, the formers are heated to a carefully controlled temperature, warm enough for latex to cling evenly, but not so hot that it destabilizes the compound. The dipping process begins. Each former descends into a bath of liquid latex or synthetic polymer, its surface tension broken by the heat. As the formers rise, a transparent film clings to every contour. This layer, only a fraction of a millimeter thick, will determine the strength and sensitivity of the final product. For most condoms, the target wall thickness ranges from 0.04 to 0.08 millimeters, about the width of a human hair. Achieving this precision requires multiple dips, each followed by a pause in a hot air tunnel. Dwell times are measured to the second. The longer the former stays submerged, the thicker the film becomes. Between dips, the formers rotate slowly, ensuring the latex coats every surface uniformly. Process engineers monitor viscosity, temperature, and rotation speed, making real-time adjustments to keep every unit within strict tolerances. After the final dip, 
The coated formers travel through vulcanization ovens set between 100 and 120 degrees Celsius. Here, the latex undergoes a chemical transformation as sulfur atoms cross-link the rubber molecules. This step gives the condom its signature elasticity and resilience, turning a fragile liquid film into a durable shield. Infrared sensors track oven temperatures and curing times, alerting operators to even the slightest deviation. As the finished film cools in long tunnels, it stabilizes into its final form, flexible, seamless, and ready for the next phase. Only now does the material meet the requirements for rigorous quality control, having completed its transformation from raw latex to engineered barrier. Inside the world's largest condom factories, quality control is a relentless, round-the-clock operation. Every single condom must pass a battery of tests before it ever leaves the production line. The first checkpoint is electronic. Each condom is pulled over a metal mandrel and exposed to a gentle electric current. If even the tiniest pinhole is present, the current completes a circuit and the unit is instantly rejected. This method detects flaws invisible to the naked eye, eliminating weak points before they can become a risk. But the scrutiny doesn't end there. From every batch, inspectors select random samples for the air inflation test, a trial that pushes the material to its absolute limits. Each sample is clamped and inflated with air until it bursts. To pass, a standard latex condom must withstand at least 18 liters of air, expanding to the size of a small watermelon before finally rupturing. If a single batch falls short, the entire lot is quarantined. Occasionally, the system catches a problem too late. In 2019, HLL Life Care in India recalled 1.5 million condoms after routine burst tests revealed unexpected failures. Quality control rooms went into overdrive, retesting suspect lots, freezing shipments, and alerting health authorities. The recall triggered a nationwide response millions of products destroyed, supply chains disrupted, and public trust put to the test. For factory QA teams, these moments are a sobering reminder. One missed defect can ripple across continents. Beyond factory walls, the threat of counterfeits looms large. In the early 2020s, Interpol and customs agencies seized millions of fake condoms smuggled from China into African markets. These counterfeits mimicked real packaging, but failed basic air and water leak tests, putting countless users at risk. The crackdown forced manufacturers to upgrade packaging with serialization and tamper-evident seals, making it harder for fakes to slip through. The stakes are high. Every failure, whether from a missed pinhole or a counterfeit ring, can have consequences far beyond the factory gate. That's why inspectors, engineers, and health officials share a single mantra, zero defects, zero compromise. Only then can billions of condoms safely make their way around the world. Inside the final hall of the world's largest condom factories, packaging engineers oversee a ballet of automation. Each condom, after passing its last inspection, is coated with pharmaceutical-grade lubricant and funneled into foil packets. Nitrogen gas flushes the air from each sealed pouch, protecting the latex from oxygen and moisture, essential for reaching a five-year shelf life. Every packet is stamped with a lot number, expiry date, and a code that traces it back to the precise factory line, hour, and even the operator on duty. Pallets of boxed condoms move from the packaging floor to climate-controlled warehouses. Here, global logistics teams take over. Malaysia, Thailand, China and India dominate the export charts, each shipping hundreds of millions of units to government health programs, nonprofits, and retail brands in over 140 countries. The scale is staggering. More than 20 billion condoms a year leave these factories, enough to circle the planet twice if laid end to end. Factory operations directors monitor real-time dashboards that track every shipment ensuring the right product reaches the right continent. For many, a single plant's output 
can supply entire national health campaigns. The journey from latex cup to delivery truck is mapped in hours, not weeks. A feat of supply chain engineering that keeps pace with urgent public health needs. But the industry's future is already taking shape in adjoining research labs. Materials scientists are testing graphene-reinforced prototypes. Condoms just 0.03 millimeters thick, yet stronger than steel by weight. Others are developing biodegradable packaging from plant-based films, aiming to reduce the environmental footprint of billions of disposables. Engineers tinker with sensor-embedded smart condoms designed to monitor performance or even detect infections. Technology is still in early trials, but moving closer to the production line each year. For every innovation, the challenge is the same. Scale up without compromising safety. As the world's largest factories prepare for the next generation of protection, the balance between mass production and scientific progress remains at the heart of the industry. Every year, factories like Carex in Malaysia produce over 5 billion condoms, contributing to a global output of more than 20 billion units. These products start with latex tapped from trees and pass through dozens of automated checks, including airburst tests that require each sample to withstand 18 liters of air. Decades of recalls and counterfeit crackdowns have led to stricter standards like ISO 4074, but not every quality issue is caught before distribution. Some technical details on production failures and counterfeit detection methods remain undisclosed by manufacturers and regulators. Today, research into thinner, stronger materials like graphene and plant-based packaging is reshaping the industry. Yet the essential purpose remains unchanged to provide reliable protection on a massive scale. The story of condom manufacturing is one of relentless precision, evolving technology, and global health impact, one barrier at a time.